Are the enemy already inside the castle? I'm afraid so, Your Highness. We must hurry. His wounds are deep. I can save him. Your Highness, I... I... Don't worry. You're going to be all right. I'll hold them off. Highness. Your Grace, Lord Murdoch. You rescued the young prince. Well done, Sir Wade. I am in your debt, soldier. Thank you, Your Grace. Cannot stay here. We should make straight for the rear gate.
For me, a lost Alan, to Isam Gelif. May the winds speed you to Rosalith. The north gate's up ahead. There are chocobos in the stables. Father, take Joshua and get to safety. No, I'm not going without you. You're supposed to be my shield, remember? I remember, which is why I'm going to hold the enemy here while you make your escape. I will order our remaining forces to rally at the gate. Now go. I will do my duty. You must do your duty too. safe. I'm counting on you, Joshua. Let none escape. As you command. You take care of that spellcaster. I'll keep the others occupied. That's them done. Are you all right? I'm fine. It's my father and Joshua I'm worried about. We should head back. Let's <laughs> go. 
Attack! Are you hurt? I'm fine. So, they sent in the Dragoons. Imperial Vipers. Do they really mean to invade us? Not yet. Their numbers were too few. They were not here to take the castle. They were here to take heads. Our work is done. We should return to my father. My lord, look. We issued these sashes but yesterday. In Rosalith. If they were already among us, what if there were others? Father and Joshua are in danger. We must hurry. Take your steed. Goodness. Your Grace, is everyone safe? For the moment. We ride for Rosalith to rally our forces. I will need your help to see Joshua safely back to the capital. On you get Joshua. I'm sorry, Your Grace, but that won't be possible. You... you honorless snakes! Stay back! I'm warning you! Run, Joshua! Run! No! Sure. Oh, fuck! 
Joshua, are you in pain? Ah! Uh, not now. Come on! You're his shield. Do your duty. Ah! Save him. My lord?
I swore I would protect him! Please! Please! Stop it! Quite a mess that monster made. Damn shame about the Phoenix, but can't be helped. Oh, my condolences, Your Grace. Is there aught we can do? <laughs> Haven't you done enough, Captain? Joshua was my world, and now he is gone. I can only pray there will be a place for me in the world his radiance seeks to create. I see. Your Grace, over here. The rubble must have protected him from the worst of the flames. Shall we take him prisoner? No need for that. Kill him. Hmm. Wait. As my husband never tired of telling me, he is a fine soldier. I'm sure he would make an excellent addition to the Imperial front line. All in its right place. Take this one. <laughs> Chin up, lad. You're going to be a soldier. Joshua. Welcome back. Sorry. What's our situation? Let's just say Shiva and Titan's little spat hasn't made things any easier. And? It's as you thought. The Crusaders have sounded the retreat. Then we follow. We're down a man, Sergeant. If we return without Shiva's head, our fate will be no different from Beast's. 
I'll take my chances with the Iron Blood. At least then I might die fighting. After you do, that is. I won't be dying. Not today. Then it's settled. No dying. Now, if you don't mind, we have an army to chase. Expect us to kill something. Do this! They don't. Only the girl holding its leash. are gone. It'll be hell finding a way out. Do you think a retreating army and their dominant will fare any better? So, Titan has knocked the fight out of our Iron Blood friends. Where are the rest of them? That can't be the main host. Wait. King Pat! Bidler! Our fortunes have turned, Sergeant. It's her. The Dominant? Are you certain? The Crystalline Orthodox is a backwards faith for a backwards people. In the Iron Kingdom, they teach that dominance are unclean aberrations, born of blackest sin. Only their priests are allowed to perform the rites of priming. 
And I see many. We end this quickly. <laughs> Scott! Laddie on in here, Sagarin! Drive! Now, King, I'll add Scully. She dead? I don't think so. Well, what are you waiting for? Bloody do it then! Look around you! Do you think any 
Again, Wyvern. Take her head so we can be done with this. I... I can't. I won't. You would betray the Holy Empire? Betray? I don't recall ever pledging allegiance to your Emperor. My service may have been bought with this brand, but not my loyalty. I just fight to survive. You think I don't? The Empire will have our heads if we turn into power. So if you won't take hers, I'll have to take yours. I told you, Sergeant. I'm not dying here today. And neither is she. Let's find out. <laughs> Have you forgotten for nothing? No one! And I will not fall by your hand! It's over! Blade. Hugo, dear, my proud desert lion. Would that you had taken care when chasing the hare? I expected more from the mighty Titan. You put the Ice Queen on her back, no doubt. But you'll have to work harder if you're to claim this prize. My lady, the thunder. We'll be hearing more soon enough. You always were a fucking snake, Sid. Gather the men. We have work to do. Who's this fine hound I see before me? A fine hound who saved your life, that's who. Torgal. Hey? His name is Torgal. You two acquainted? Well then, you won't mind taking him off my hands. 
Funny. I'd always pictured you as more the chocobo type. Clive Rosfield. Come now. Fleet as flame, fierce as a wildfire. That there was the blessing of the Phoenix. I'd heard rumours that you'd survived, but I never paid them much heed. <laughs> Calm down. I didn't come all this way for your handsome mug. Now her, on the other hand, she seemed worth muddying my boots for. None the worse for wear. Still, might be best to get a second opinion. Back her up! No! Oh. Not another step. <laughs> I mean it. Well, I'm not about to leave her here. Not one with a warm bed waiting. It's all right. You're welcome to join us. You do want to help her, don't you? Uh, uh, Sid, if we aren't back soon, none will have our heads. <laughs> I'll explain everything once we're back at the hideaway. Come on. Not much further now. But we're in the middle of the Deadlands. Keen eye, you. The blights suck this place dry. Meaning no trees, no birds, and no magic. But it also means no neighbors. The last place anyone would think to look. Sweet home. This place. These are fallen ruins. Well, we didn't think they'd mind. And it keeps the black from our lungs. But how do you survive without magic? How does anyone? Hard work and a bit of nelf. You must be starving. We grow them here, believe it or not. Hmm? Suit yourself. You're back. Ah, tell you. And this is the dominant. Out cold since we found her. I was hoping you might give her a look over. All right. Goots, get her upstairs. But, but none will... Don't fret about Karen. I've taken care of her fee. All of it. She's the best healer this side of the belt. You've nothing to worry about. Go on. Have a look around. I'll be in my solar.
exposed to the humans. Just working on a pet project of mine. Though she's not above biting the hand that feeds her. I was hoping we might try and solve the mystery of poor Clive Rossfield, a bearer of the Sambrequa Imperial Army sent behind enemy lines, with orders to wait until it turned into a brawl, then slit the Dominant's throat in the chaos. I didn't know it was her. How could it be? And so, to save her neck, you slit your sergeants, then set your sights on the hills. Conveniently forgetting how the Empire deals with deserters. Because with that on your chop, my friend, we both know you won't be getting far. You've fallen a long way, Lord Rossfield. Have it said that I'm a poor host? What do you mean to do with her? Do with her? Why nothing? Her life is her own now. If I wanted to use her, do you think I'd be talking to you? All I want to do is help. Dominance like her, branded like you. Of course, the realm doesn't approve, which is why we live in a cave. And it's also why we need help. From Brandy who know one end of a sword from the other. What say you, Clive? Will you join us? Sid, was it? I trust that you'll do right by Jill. But until my brother is avenged, I must walk my own path. Avenged? My brother was murdered by a second dominant of fire. The Phoenix is evil to win. Oh, bugger me. Another rumor proven true. I only stand here today because of Joshua. Thirteen years I've waited for this chance. I've slept in filth, drunk from a gutter, killed more men than I can count. You're right. The Empire will not suffer a deserter. This will be my best opportunity. My last. Which is why you should join us. I told you I'm not... Interested, I know. One of my scouts sent word there's a group of branded fugitives north of here, in the Imperial village of Lost Wing. Among them is one he believes to be a dominant of fire. Is he certain? What say we go and ask him? This doesn't mean I'm joining you. Let's make ready, then. You'll find everything you need down in the main hall, as well as a few things you don't. Have fun. Careful, you. I've spent the whole morning on this. And how did you like this stew? Towards it. Perhaps you can help. 
Sid asked me to make ready for our mission. How does one go about that here? Uh, well, uh, there's old Nan's place. Oh, uh, on second thoughts, uh, you maybe want to see Blackthorn first. A blacksmith? To the forge it is, then. Oh, wait, no, hold up. You'll be needing this. Blackthorn won't take no notice of you otherwise. Might not anyway. Are you Blackthorn? What if I am? I've no time for idle chatter. I'm not here to talk. I'll be accompanying Sid to Lostwing and I need you to see to my equipment. You could be accompanying the goddess Grieger to our holy bedchamber for all I care. I'm not lifting a finger for you. Is that so? Do you want that or not? I can take it back. Oh, damn you, Goots. All right, all right. No need to be hasty. Let's have a look at you. <laughs> I doubt that lot could stay a Moogle's fart. Bloody Imperials. They'd rather see their bearers dead than kid it out properly. I'll do what I can. As a favor to Goot's mind. Square. You want anything else? You bring your own materials. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you. <sighs> A word of advice. Don't let Sid decide what's best for you. I suppose I should thank Goots. Gift worked. You have my thanks. I, uh, uh, <laughs> Come on, nearly there. Blankets, quick as you like. <laughs> All right, we make them comfortable while the bed's made up. <laughs> well, you're just gonna stand there, some old face some water. I'll get the bucket. You go and see if Otto needs out, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, me? <sighs> what the hell have I got myself into? Freed Imperial bearers. Who the hell are you? <sighs> Shit, at this rate, he won't make it through the night. Think you can find your way up them stairs to the infirmary? We need tire. Well, go on. Shift your ass. Was Tai the one looking after Jill? Your friend needs her rest. There'll be time for tearful reunions once she's recovered. I'm not here for Jill. You're wanted downstairs. There are injured bearers in need of attention. Well, why didn't you say so? <sighs> I did say so.
He's going to be all right. But I'll need to examine them both in the infirmary. My work's just begun. Another fine day at the hideaway. Do many of the bearers who come here arrive in this state? It's no easy thing, casting off your chains. By the time most pluck up the courage, they're already too far gone. These two here are the lucky ones. The name's Otto. You need anything? You ask me. Well, Otto, I do need some supplies. Do you now? Then Lady Karen over there will be more than happy to help you. Right. Oh, and thanks. Be seeing you. Not likely. I won't be staying. Is that right? Well, for as long as you are here, consider yourself welcome. You helped us today, and we won't forget it. I need supplies for my journey to Lost Wing. Otto said you could provide them. What's that? Does the newcomer think it proper to make demands of a poor old matron before even introducing himself? <sighs> it's Clive. Well, Clive, I hear that dog is yours. Since he followed Sid home one night, I've seen to it that his chin's rubbed and his belly fed. Though I suppose that's your job now. Unless you lose him again. I won't. Not again. Thank you for watching him. So, were you gonna buy something? What? You didn't think I'd shower your lordship with my hard-won wares while you swagger about with a pocket full of gill? Life doesn't work that way, lad. Now, let's see some coin. You'll not find a better price than that. That's all. Why, you've barely a guilty name. You're taking his side now. And after all I've done for you. All right. All right, I can make an exception. But just this once, mind. My stores are getting cluttered and I need to make room for the next shipment. Thank you. Thank me? Thank your dog. You're all done. Mm. 
Leaving already, are ya? It's you I'll miss the most, Lady Karen. It always is. Don't stop you going, does it? This should be fun. Right. There's a good girl. Hungry, are you? I told you we should have taken the Crystal Road. And I told you that we're outlaws. And you want every bounty hunter in Storm harrying us from here... ...to the Holy Capital? Besides, what's wrong with a shortcut through nature's splendor? Get off. The Deadlands claim more of the realm each day. But a place like this still exists is a miracle in itself. Blood flies and all. We'll be back in Imperial land soon. You all right? Never better. Sounds like it. <laughs> that there is a fine hound. Soon took to hunting. Fearless as you like. It's good to have you back, Torkel. Now, we don't want to be caught in the forest after nightfall. I suppose not. Did I mention there'd be deadly beasts? There'll be deadly beasts. Nothing a trained assassin can't handle, though. How reassuring. You're welcome. For that and the shortcut. Good Grieger's name is he doing this far south? Looking for food. No more walls where he's from. The north was one of the first parts of Storm to fall to the Blight. Poor oh, sod. I'd invite him over for a cup of tea if I didn't think he'd eat the dog.
Let's try and stay out of its path. Remember when I said there were deadly beasts? Well, the shrimps of these parts are much better. And you only think to mention this now. It's over! Get him! Sick of Toggle! Get him! Well, that's the undergrowth sorted. I'll take it from here. Kindly. The ruins, they're everywhere, aren't they? Some say there was a time they blocked out the stars. Down was the only way left for them to go. There's probably a lesson to be learned from that. But it can wait. Come on. Mind your head. Must be a nest nearby. Keep your eyes open. Yeah. Well, it appears we won't be going this way. I'll admit I hadn't counted on that. What is it, boy? knows these woods. Thank you, Togo.
sword sharp. You'd better hope so. This should take two. So much for your shortcuts. Still short, just not quite as quick. But it'll be a damn sight quicker if you help me. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> Dominant. I am. I. Well, not by choice, mind. Old bloody Rome of strapping young lads. And it was this sorry sack of bones, Rome, who saw fit to home. Sid. You say you want to help Dominance and Bearers. Well, what's in it for you? What's in it for me? The same as for all of us. What we want and deserve. Save for our knack, dominance and bearers are no different from anyone else. The ability to use magic or summon great beasts should command respect, but instead has left us outcasts. Our kind are used and discarded like tools, yet we are men, so why must we die as less? I see. So what you're saying is you want to start a war. <laughs> ah, you flatter me, lad. But my days as a firebrand are long behind me. No, I only wish to offer our kind a of choice. A place where we can die on our own terms. Huh? What exactly do you plan on doing when you find this dominant in the fire? What do you think? I'll show him the mercy he showed my brother. And cut out the tongue of any man who tries to talk me out of it. All right. Forest dark enough, is it? 
Scout. Someone's far from home. Let's follow him. Huh? And? They're just down that way. All of them. Grieger's my witness. Excellent. We move. I, 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 I don't understand. Have I not proven loyal? It is true my liege values loyalty above all else. But were you not quick to betray your countrymen for the promise of coin? intelligences. If we can capture her... You! Weapons on the ground, Imperials! <sighs> the 
Let's get this over with then. At least they're not giant lizards. thought we were Imperials. Well, you do look the part. <laughs> Though you fight like a true shield of Rosaria, and one blessed by the Phoenix at that. <laughs> Speaking of which, I wonder... Does the other icon of fire give blessings, do you think? You don't believe me. And lo, the Creator did make of the elements eight icons to serve as keepers of the One Law. Not that I've ever set too much store by holy doctrine, but on that point, it's clear. Fire has always had just the One Warden, as of all the rest. A new one can't be born until the previous dies. And even that can take years. The thing is, you don't strike me as a liar. Which leaves but one person who might be able to shed some light on the matter. And they're in Lost Swing. As are our Waluda friends, I would imagine. We should hurry before it gets dark. But what if someone discovers the bodies? Well, and they'll be sorely disappointed.
So much for arriving before sunset. Oh, I didn't realize we were this close. Any idea what that is they built the village around? The Fallen Ruin. I've heard some call it an airship. Though its flying days seem to be behind it. It's a shame, that. You truly think a dominance waiting for us in that village? My scout has never given me any reason to doubt him. Which is why I think we should hurry. Come on. Figures up ahead. But are they friends or foes? You! I'm turning on another step! Keep your distance, boy! to ask the next ones we meet. Let me know how it goes. No sign of the Royalists. Or anyone else for that matter. It's too bloody quiet. Even for this hour. What do we do now? First we look for my scout. You start here, I'll circle round the back. How do I let you know if I find him? Good question. Shout? Subtle. Miss me. I'm flattered, but let's stick to the plan, eh? <laughs> that sounds like a child. <laughs> it's all right. I'm not one of them. My friend and I, we're... with the Imperial Army, and we've come to help. Do you know where your parents are? In... in the church. Then I'm going to find them, and make sure they're safe. Can you stay hidden here, until then? To the church, then.
This man's gonna die if we don't get into a healer. Enough of your barking, dog! About time. Stand back. <clears throat> Who the hell are you? Clive! Thought you weren't coming. You still alive, Gav? <laughs> Barely. Been doing what I can for the villagers, but... I thought you were joking. It's all right. He's with me. Is this everyone? No. There were others. A pair of royalists came for the bearers just before you arrived. Was a dominant among them? Maybe. It's not like he was holding a sign. Guess where he's going. Clive, after him. Companion, it's only a matter of time before we seize our quarry. Very good. And what of the others? The bearers have been taken to Kea Novent. Some may still be worth keeping should the dominant elude us. All is in hand, my lady. They will not be spoiled. I give you my word. <laughs> Gentlemen, a toast! Will you join me? <laughs> My sex. To our Lady of the Wind. And the King! So, <coughs> oh, the Imperials drink this piss? Well, it would go some way to explain their breath. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Benedicta, Imperials! And instead of killing them, you lead the rat straight to us. Mercy! <laughs> Look what we have here, boys. An Imperial Bearer. Good. I was getting bored. You know what to do, boy. Get him, boy! Get him. 
got some fight in you, even for a branded. <laughs> Clive! <laughs> Look us here to save the day. Is this how you recruit all of your charges? Don't recall you complaining, Benedicta. So, Sidolphus, remind me, why was it that you betrayed your kingdom? I asked your question. Lord Commander. Why? Because I'd had enough of you and your king's antics. And yet here you are, stealing my branded. What are you plotting? As if I'd tell you. Benedicta, we have secured the dominant. Oh, something is there. And she's gone. She say where she was going. No. Then we head back to Lost Wing. One of the villagers may have heard something. But we can't just. Which is why I sent Gav. The man has a nose for these things. Trust me. at all. They were looking for a dominant. Yeah, that's right. I thought we were hiding the bastard. Like any of us would keep a monster like that under our roof. Oh, no offence. When no one talked, they started rounding up everyone with a brand. And then everyone without one and all. And locked you in the cellar, hoping sooner or later someone would break. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know... Things might have been different if you'd accepted my invitation. Oh, don't remind us. We were all saying the same thing. Yeah. Well, this is our home, innit? Yeah. Don't mean we run out when we can, though. And that, I'll drink to. Oh, come hear the tale of Lord D on the boat. Whose tamed worms a thousand and slain the tenfold. One hundred full legions the young dragoon led And watched as a million foes turned tail and fled His lance levels mountains, it spanned as the deep The skies over storm breaks for Listen, Clive. And the Revenge won't bring him back. It won't. His name will live Thirteen years ago, I watched a dominant kill my brother right in front of me, and I did nothing. But now I can. I can kill the son of a bitch, and bring peace to my brother's soul. After that, whatever happens, happens. Fate. You're content to be a slave, then.
His radiance would have us believe the Imperial host invincible. Yet here we find the Empire's cornerstone teetering on the backs of a handful of cowards and cutthroats. <laughs> While Bahamut may lead a hundred full legions, could it be that the young prince defends a house of cards ready to topple at the slightest breeze? Tell me something. Why do you not resist? Within you lies the power to slay gods. The phoenix perished in your flames. Yet you do not fight. You do not flee. You refuse your gift. Perhaps you are distracted. <sighs> My offer still stands. Join us and you will be treated with the respect one of our kind deserves. <sighs> I'll give you a moment to consider your options. Do be gentle with them. Clive! Wake up. Gav's back. Ken Ovent. One of the Empire's outlying strongholds. Though apparently not strong enough to keep out the Royalists. The captured bearers are inside. I'm sure of it. If Benedicta's orders are to stay in the shadows, she won't be travelling with many men. Meaning, she'll be keeping her prisoners together and close by. Including the Dominant. So, we find a way into the fortress, and conjure a bit of chaos. Uh, what about me? Excellent question, Gav. You will wait outside the care, and guide those I free to safety. And miss all the fun? Why can't he do that? Clive doesn't have your nose. He'd stumble off a cliff before he even found the men. Come on, Gav. You're the best man for the job. Well, when you put it that way... <sighs> Suppose I'd better scout ahead for any surprises. Don't you let him down. I won't. All right, shall we? Not so fast. We wait until tomorrow. But he's right there. And if we leave now, we'll arrive just as the sun comes up. Maybe join the guards in breaking their fast. Come on, Clyde. They only just took the place. They'll be there a while yet. We've got one chance at this. You don't want to waste it, do you? No. Someone I want you to. Let this out. 